여러분 오늘의 주제는 복음의 아름다움입니다. The topic for today is the beauty of the gospel. 복음이 아름답습니까? Do you think gospel is beautiful? 장로님, 목사님, 우리 옆에 계신 분들이 아름답습니까? Pastor and elders, <웃음> you think people look beautiful to you? Amen. Oh, <웃음> thank you. 복 받으실 Amen. 겁니다. You're blessed, Pastor. 어때요? 아름답죠? It's beautiful, right? Beautiful. 네. 아름다운 모습이에요. 떠오르는 해를 바라보죠. So beautiful. It's a sunrise in the morning. 근데 저기 앉은 사람들은 아름다운 모습이 아니에요. But the people who are sitting there, they are not so beautiful. 뭐 하는 사람들이게요? What do you think they are doing over there? 정답? What do you? 기도? 아니. Praying? No. Picking up trash. Picking up trash? Praying? 네, 정답은 화장실입니다. Wow. They are defecating. <웃음> 네, 저 아름답죠? 이렇게 아름다운 떠오르는 태양을 보면서 They're taking crap. 저 사람은 이제 막 끝난 사람이고 한참 하는 사람이고 The guy that the guy that stu- the guy that's standing he just finished. The guys who are sitting down are still going at it. Yeah. 그래서 인도의 아침은 저런 모습이에요. This is your typical morning in India. 멀리서 보면 아름다운데 If you Look at it from far away, it's beautiful. 네, 가까이 보면 힘들어요. If you get closer, then it's a different story. 제가 인도에 선교를 할때할수 있는 게 없었습니다. When I first went to India, there was really not a thing that I could really do. I didn't really have any work to do. 그래서 저는 정말 아침 일찍 저 사람들 바디를 도와주는 것부터 시작했어요. So I just went to, you know, the farm and I just I helped them. I helped them with their farming. 여기에서는 기계로 싹 하잖아요. In America, we use machines. 거기는 무조건 다 손으로 하는 거예요. Everything is done manually over there. 저는 제가 잘할 줄 알았어요. I thought I was going to be really good at it. <웃음> 한 시간 못 가요. <웃음> I couldn't last more than an hour. 왜냐면 너무 더우니까. So hot over there. 근데 여러분들은 하루 종일 일을 합니다. But they work like that all day. 처음엔 제가 도와주려다가 아유 방해만 되더라고요. But in the beginning, I was trying to be as helpful as possible, but I realized that I was just being an obstacle. And so they said, June, just, just go. Just go away. <laughs> so I gave up uh, on helping, helping with their farming, and I, and I began to take care of the kids. So I gave up on helping, helping with their farming, 아침에 눈 뜨자마자 제가 살고 있는 교회로 달려왔습니다. And so I got the children's program going and so all the kids and young people came to the church that I was living at. 네. 농사 짓는 건 방해가 되었지만 여기서 인기가 최고였어요. So on the farm I wasn't that popular but at church I was very popular. 네. 지금 영상 재밌죠? It's really interesting, right? Oh, this is the part. <laughs> I think it's a tough guy wanna be. So, I was a wild man. 그래서 나뭐 나무 타고 올라가고 뭐 이빨을 잡고 뭐 I would just you know peel that fruit off with my teeth. I would climb uh, the trees. 네, 저 코코넛도 주먹으로 빼야 돼요. And you you actually break the coconut with your fist. 네, 뭐 남자의 세계. <웃음> This is a man's world. 네. 다음 주 되면은 또 여러 가지 보여드릴게요. I will show you uh, more things next time. 네. 네, 지난주, 어, 지난달이죠. 이 여자아이 기억나시죠? Do you remember this uh, little girl from 네. last, last month? 네, 이 아이가 안주병이었다가 일어나면서 그 교회는 정말로 놀라운 부흥이 일어났습니다. So great things have happened because of our healing. 사람들이 교회로 쏟아져 들어왔어요. So many people came to church when they saw her walk for the first time in her life. 처음에는 이 가족이 전부였는데 So in the beginning, this is what we started with at the, at the church. This is all we had. And people began to love church. 
And now they're cleaning church. And they begin to build a new church. This is how they were cleaning church, and this is how small it is. You take two steps, and it's, it's, it's over. And this is what, how many people ended up coming to this church. No place to, uh, you know, stand. It was so packed. Do you see that when they're praising that they're actually crying? Their worship was heartfelt. So when I worship with them, I could sense my spirit coming alive. They had very little knowledge of the Bible, but they had a truth in their hearts. Their worship was filled with spirit and truth. But unfortunately, uh, circumstance, God allowed the circumstances to drive me away from that area. 전 정말로 그 마을 사람들과 하나가 되어서 막 매일마다 돌 나르고 지난 시간 기억나시죠? 돌 나르고 교회를 지어 나갔는데 이제 질투가 들어온 거예요. And so I became so close to the the village people and you saw, you know, from last time that how we were building this church and we spent so much time and we worked so hard together to build this church. 근데 거기 있는 이제 그 힌두교인들이 이제 저를 미워하기 시작한 거예요. And there was a jealousy begin to rise, and a lot of the, you know, Hindu people over there, and they began to really hate me. 그래서 저는 그날 쌈 말을 못 알아들으니까는 아무것도 모르고 하하호호 다녔는데 <웃음> 그 사람들은 저에 대해서 이제 막그 협박을 하고 있었던 거예요. So because I had no understanding of what they were saying, I was just like running around, you know, happy, you know, happy go lucky, jovial. But then behind my back, they were making all kinds of, uh, you know, angry and hateful threats against me. 이게요, 여러분, 모르는 게 약이라는 말이 있죠. You know, there's an expression in Korean, you know, like ignorance is bliss, but ignorance is medicine. But in English, it would be ignorance is bliss. 어, 이게 제가 이제 일반적인 마음이면 아무리 외국말로 욕을 해도 욕을 알아들어요. You know, normally, you know, if somebody is cursing at you, even in a foreign language that you don't know, you sense that they're saying something bad. Like you don't know exactly what they're saying, but you know they're saying something that's not nice. 그렇죠. 다 함께 겪어 보셨죠. I'm sure you've had experience like that, right? 네. 그런데요, 이게. However. 선교를 하면서 사람들 막 사랑하기 시작하잖아요. So, but when you're in the mission field and you love them and you work with them and and there's a compassion for them. But you don't, you don't feel it. You don't see that people are saying bad things. 그 사람들이 저한테 막 나쁜 소리를 하는데 저는 그렇게 좋다고 하고 하면서 나이스 미치 이러고 있는 거예요. So they're saying really nasty things and they're cursing you out, and I have no idea. And I'm just hugging them and I'm just laughing and I'm just they're saying nice meeting you, you know, hey brother, what's up? 그래가지고 어느 날그그 지역 장로가 저한테 아주 심각하게 여기 있다가는 so one of the elders came to me one day and said, "You know what? Something bad's going to happen to you if you continue to stay here." 그래서 저는 진짜로 그날 도망쳐서 나왔어요. So on that day, I got scared and I ran away. 네. 뭐 도망쳤다고 하기에는 너무 환대를 받긴 했어요. 제가 도망 간다 그러니까는 온 마을이 나와가지고 환송해줬어요. 
Well, I mean, yeah, technically I ran away, but when I said I was going to go away, the entire villagers came out and they said goodbye. They said their goodbye. So it was actually a, a beautiful runaway. But when I was suddenly going to go away, I was so scared. I was like, 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 I really hated the fact that I had to run away because I was so happy there and we're building this new church and there was a lot of energy and, and all of a sudden everything came to a grinding halt and I had to run off and I did not appreciate that. 그리고 제가 간 곳은 까르나카타라고 하는 주에서 넘어가서 지금은 텔랑가나라고 된 새로운 주로 간 거예요. So I had to go to move to a new state, you know, that whatever, can you say it one more time? 까르나타카 까르나타카 then Telangana. And Telangana. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if that's a correct yeah, yeah, It was the Andhra Pradesh, but they changed. Recently split it to the two different states. So now Telangana. Anyway, So now I went to a new place and now it's a completely different language. So I barely got to learn this you know, new language. But now I'm at a new state, and I had to start all over again. I I I couldn't speak a word. 더 신기한 거 뭔지 아세요? 거기 한몇한 30km 정도 차인데 서로 미워해. You know, it's actually not that far far away. It's like 30 kilometers, so it's probably like 20 miles or so. But they hate each other. 그래서 제가 어디 있다 왔다니까 별로 안 좋아하는. And uh, and I told them I'm just from that other state, and they didn't like that. So I don't have a picture of it, but this is the, the church that I saw when I first went there. You know, the church like this, there are thousands of them in India. So there's a... Um, Maranatha, you know, it's an independent ministry, and they actually, they're missionaries, and they built thousands of these in India. 그러니까 그거를 차차 지은 게 아니라 2000년부터 그냥 지은 거예요, 그냥. See, it's not like they, you know, built, you know, an expanded church a little at a time, but they just all descended in India, and they just built a bunch of them all at once. 그래서 이 마을의 인구가 몇이냐, 그 인구에 맞춰서 교회를 지은 거죠. So they just went there and, you know, regardless of whether they're Christians or not, they said, how many people in this village? And based on number of people in the village, they just built this church. And then there are no pastors, there are no members, and all these church buildings were, like, completely abandoned. They look, look at the grass. You know, no one's taking care of it. And this is actually in one of the yeah, one of the church, the church is in one of the best conditions. 안 좋은데 가면요 문도 잠겨 있지 않고 문도 부서져 있고 거기에 염소랑 소들이 살고 있어요. So if you go to um, you know a typical place, there are no doors or gates. It's all broken, and it's, it's usually they use it as an animal, you know, shed for the animals like goats and cows and stuff. 그러니까 교회를 짓는 게 요거 붙이려고 짓는 거예요. So the only reason why they built the church is to you know, put that up. You see that little sign? That's the purpose. Like. So they put that up, they, you know, put a little plaque over there and put the name of the church and, you know, they celebrate the, you know, finish, you know, building the church and then they move on. 그래서 제가 이제 도망쳐 가지고는 한 교회에 갔는데요. 그 교회는 마을 이름은 비랄풀이에요. 비랄풀. So I went to uh, one of the uh, places that had this church, in, and it's called what is it called? Piralpur. Piralpur. Yeah. 지금 보시면 애들밖에 없죠. See, this is all we had. 그런데 교회는 number. 조금 커 보이죠, 그렇죠? That this church looks a little bit bigger than the other church, but this is all the members we have. 네. 그런데 이제 거기에는 이제 목사님 한 명이 한 스무 개의 교회를 관리해야 돼요. So in this area, a typical pastor would oversee twenty churches. 그러니까 거의 뭐 관리를 안 한다고 보시면 돼요. So practically speaking, you know, there is no pastor. 그러니까 이 목사님은 뭐 하는 사람이냐면 결혼 주례 해주고 장례식 해주는 사람입니다. So basically, a, a primary function of a pastor is to officiate weddings and go to funerals. Basically, that's pretty much it. 그래서 이제 제가 이 교회 갔는데 
안식일에 교회 문을 so, 잠그는 거예요. So I went to this church, and on Sabbath, you know, on on the, on the church day, um, the gates were actually locked. The doors are closed and locked. 그래서 제가 가서 물었어요. 안식일인데 왜 교회 문을 잠가놨냐? 그랬더니만 어차피 아무도 안 온다는 거예요. So I went to a couple of elders and I asked, I said, why are you locking up the church on Sabbath? And, and they were like, well, no one comes anyway. 그리고 목사님은 그 교회 장로님들이랑 함께 WW, 아시죠 그거? WWE, wrestling, pro wrestling 보고 있었어요. 누워서 방에서. <laughs> so on Sabbath, when I went to see them, the pastor and the elders were watching the, the wrestling show, WWE, worldwide, uh, what is it? I don't know what it stands for, but um, the American wrestling program. 그리고 제가 뭐 하는 Pro 거냐고 Pro 예배를 Pro 봐야지 그랬더니만 어차피 안 오는데 뭐 타라 하냐 크리스마스 날 온다 그러는 거예요. So I said, but pastor, what are you doing here? Like, you know, we should have a worship service. And pastor's like, doesn't matter, no one shows up anyway. They only show up on Christmas. 그래서 제가 이 꼬마이도 데리고서는 아이고 참다. 이 꼬마이도 데리고서는 이제 노래 불고선 저희 예배를 시작한 거예요. So I reached out to little kids, and this is how we began. Our service on Sabbath. 정말로 포기하고 싶었죠. I really wanted to give up. 왜냐하면은 그 제가 도망쳐 나온 거기에는 사람들이 막 와가지고 막 눈물 흘리면서 매일 매일 예배 보는데 여기는 이 모양이면. 그쵸? So you see where I came from. You saw what happened before. But it was packed with people crying, praising God, and then this is what you know we had going here. So obviously I was so discouraged and I was in despair. 보시다시피 여기가 교회이자 저의 집이자 저의 주방이자 모든 거였어요. So this was the church, but I also lived there. That was my apartment. You know, that was my that's where I ate. That's my dining room. That's my kitchen. That's everything. 그래서 제가 거기서 또뭘 했냐면 제 마음속에 야, 죽더라도 다시 원래대로 돌아가자라는 마음과 여기서 있어야 된다면 내가 뭘할수 있는가라는 질문이 들었습니다. So I was just thinking what can I do here? Maybe, maybe I, maybe I do need to go back. Maybe, or, or, even if I die, I should, you know, do my best here. Or, on the other hand, what can I possibly accomplish here by being here? 그랬더니 하나님께서 저에게 어떻게 응답하셨냐면 한 꼬마 아이가 갑자기 문을 열고 오더니만은 여기서 뭐 하냐는 거예요. 나가서 뭐라도 하래요. So as I was thinking about this and I was praying about it, one little kid came in and said. What are you doing here? Just go out and do something. Don't just sit there. Go out and do something. Oh, this is a little kid. 이게 중요한 건 그냥 영어 할줄 몰라요. The here is the important thing. The guy did not speak a word of English. 그 꼬마인데 저한테 뭐라고 얘기했는데 저는 그걸 그렇게 들은 거예요. He was saying in a language I didn't know. He was saying something, but somehow I understood him to be saying that. Somehow I understood him. 예, 그래 가지고 제가 그 꼬마한테 잡고서 자. 그 나라 그 지역 말을 배웠어요. 그게 안녕하세요, 기도해 드릴까요, 교회 오세요. 요세 개를 배웠습니다. So I got all of them. I said, okay, teach me your language. And so I learned some things. I said, um, hi, how are you? Can I pray for you? Come to our church. Those are the like three things that I learned how to speak. 그리고서는 그냥 무작정 밖에 나가가지고 만나는 사람마다 안녕하세요 그러고 안녕하면 기도해 줄까요 그러고. 해달라 그러면 기도해 주고 끝나면은 교회 오세요. 안 해달라 그러면 교회 오세요. 이렇게 돌렸어요. So those three things. So I just went out and I said, "Hi, how are you?" And if they respond, "Oh yeah, hi, how are you?" Then I say, um, "Can I pray for you?" And if they say yes, then I would pray for them. And then afterwards, I would say, "Please come to church." If they say no, don't pray for me. Then I would say, "Yeah, then come to our church." Yeah. So that's that was my you know go to you know thing. 이게요 처음에는 되게 부끄러워요. In the beginning, it was actually very embarrassing to do that. 그런데 이게 신기하게도요. 그 그런 마음이 있습니다. 원래는 제가 여기서 하라고 밖에 나가면 아 부끄러워 못할 것 같은데 거기서는 그게 되더라니까. Strange thing is that it it is really embarrassing to do that, and and if you ask me to do that now, I don't think I could possibly do it. But back then, when on that mission field, I was able to do it. I just I just kept doing it every day. 왠줄 아세요? You know why? 모르는 게 약이에요. <웃음> Ignorance is bliss. Not knowing is medicine. 그러니까 이 사람들이 나한테 무슨 얘기를 하는지, 무슨 생각을 하는지를 못 읽으니까 그냥 하는 거예요. 
because I have no idea what they're thinking, what they're saying, because I cannot understand. I don't know their culture. I just do it because I don't know what their response is. I have no idea. 지금도 기억합니다. Namaskaram, 안녕하세요. Pratana is. Namaskaram is. 안녕하세요. How are you doing? 그 Prata, 그 Pratana도요. 기도해 줄까요? 아니에요. 기도 이거예요. Pratana 이거예요. Pratana means doesn't really mean can I pray for you? It means pray. <laughs> yeah, 이해하시겠죠? 그 정도예요. Yeah, you know that was. Yeah. That's the level of uh, language skill. Yeah, yeah. 교회 오세요, 오세요도 존중 표현이에요. You come church, 그러니까는 church get Andy. 그게 끝이에요. Church get Andy doesn't mean would you please come to my church. It's like church come, yeah. church come. You know that was the level of uh, you know my language uh, you know skill. 그런데 그게 되더라니까요. But it worked. But it worked. 모르는 게 약이에요. 어떻게 된지 몰라요. Ignorance is bliss, you know, not knowing is medicine. I don't know what happened, how it happened, but it began to work. People began to come to our church. So, because I didn't speak the language, um, I didn't have any friends, the only fellowship, only kind of like a sense of community I had was during worship service and when I'm preaching. 그래가지고 저는 그냥 동네 꼬마 애들을 어떻게든 다 교회에서 재웠어요. So I invited all the kids and young people and you know I have them you know stay over at church and stay with me. 그 보세요 여기 이불들 많죠 이거 다. See all that blankets? 이게 다 동네 꼬마 애들 같이 자는 거예요. It's for the kids in the community. 그러니까 원래 교회는 자는 데가 아니었는데 크리스마스만 아니면 결혼식만 여는 데였는데 이제는 교회가 매일매일 열리는 겁니다. <웃음> so normally this church was shut down and they only would only open doors on Christmas day but now it's open every day. 근데 여행의 정도가 새벽부터 24시간 열려 있는 거 아닙니까? And so now the church is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 그래서 여기 여기 보시면 이게 칠판인데요. 칠판이 아니라 검은색 비닐이에요. See that that uh, that blackboard? It's actually not really a board, but it's a plastic. It's a black plastic 그, that was used 10, as a blackboard. 십사만 사천 보이세요? 써 있는 거? Do you see 144,000 written over there? <웃음> 제가 거기서 뭐 했냐면 애들 데리고 나서 알아듣던 말던 그냥 막 가르쳤어요. So I had kids sitting in front of me. And I didn't even care if they understood or not. I just started teaching. I just started teaching them in my own language. Yeah, that's my laptop. But, but here's the point. There was no translation. I just I just started teaching them. So I knew at least that they had a Bible and I had Bible. They had Bible in their own language and I had my own Bible. 그냥 되든 안 되든 그냥 저는 말했으니까 된 거예요. So didn't matter. At least they had a Bible. So I spoke my mind and I had to teach them what they need to do and I I was at peace with that. 그리고 얘네들이요. 그냥 들어요. 착해요. And they were good kids. They just sit there and just listen. 예. 네. 그도 그렇게 다른 할게 없잖아요. Because there's really nothing else to do. That's all their, you know, entertainment they had back then. 네, 그리고 그냥 보고 제가 제가 웃기겠죠. 그러니까 하고 막 소리 치고서는 막 여기다가 말도 안 되는 거 쓰고 <웃음> 알았냐 알았냐 물어보고 그러면은 그냥 이러고 말겠죠. But they they probably thought it was some crazy dude just like yelling and screaming by himself and pointing to them and say, "Do you understand?" and whatever. And they probably thought they may have thought it was entertaining. Who knows? 근데 신기하게요. 이게 돼요. But you know, incredibly, it kind of worked. 그래서 제가 이제 어떻게 했냐면 아침마다 밥 그러니까 제가 밥을 다 먹여 줬어요. 공짜로 다. So every morning I would actually feed them. Not every morning, every day. Every day. Every day yeah. I fed them. 예. 네. 그래서 제가 인도어를 잘하는 이유가 그것 때문이에요. Uh, that's how I know uh, I can speak Indian pretty well. 예. 네. 왜 그래서 이제 맨날 밥해 먹이면 애들은 이제 아침에 밥 공짜니까 와서 먹고 제가 이제 두 줄로 딱 세워요. So I would feed them every day and you know in the morning after you know eating I would line them up. 그리고 성경절 두개 딱, 성경절 딱두개 주고 집집마다 방문을 시켜요. And I give them, you know, two verses, and I send them away to visit people. 그리고 가가지고 그냥 기도하고 성경절 읽고 교회 오라 그래라. And so go there, and their job is to go there, 
and to you know read that the verses that I gave you and then invite them to come to church. That was their job. 그리고 걔네 갔다 오면은 다 동그랗게 앉아가지고 이렇게 밥을 먹어요 이렇게. And so when they come, when they come back, you know, we eat like that. You know, we're just. 지금 딱 봐도 무슨 무슨 죽 같죠 이런 거. It kind of looks like some kind of a, you know porridge, right? 그냥 그거 그냥 손으로 집어 먹. 딱 바닥에 앉아서 손으로 집어 먹으면서 이랬다 저랬다 막 얘기하는 거예요. So you sit on the floor and you just eat it with your hands and you just talk. 그러면 전 하도 못 알아들어요. And of course, I don't understand the thing that they're saying. 얘네 막 열심히 얘기하는데 저는 그냥 잘했다 잘했다 이러고 끝이에요. And so they're saying all kinds of things, and I listen and I say, "Okay, you did well, you did well," in my own language, and I don't know if they understood me. I didn't understand them. 근데 돼요. But somehow it's working. Somehow. 모르, 모르는 게 약이에요. Ignorance is bliss. 그리고 교회가 그러니까 저는 여기서 앉아가지고 이러고 살고 기다리는 거야. 그지 뭐 완전히 무슨 난민이죠. That's, that's me, uh, you know, sitting and waiting for people to show up. 예, <웃음> 네, 완전 홈리스죠, 그렇죠. Uh, yeah, that homeless person is me. The guy came out, you know. 자, 우리 고린도전서 1장 18절입니다. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 십자가의 도가 멸망하는 자들에게는 미련한 것이요 구원받은 우리에게는 하나님의 능력이라. Just oh, you want me to just one verse at a time? Yeah. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. 지금 제가 간증한 이야기 들으면서 제가 제대로 한거 하나도 있, 보셨어요? So you've heard my testimony. Did I do anything right? Did I do anything that didn't make sense? <웃음> 제대로 한거 하나도 없죠, 그렇죠? Yeah, except maybe feeding them. Uh, but I didn't do anything that's right that made sense. 그런데 저는 그 십자가의 도에 있었던 거예요. But I was under the power of the gospel, the power of the cross. 그러니까 저는 어떻게 된지는 모르지만 저는 계속 그 십자가의 도를 추구한 거죠. 이렇게. So I had no idea what I was doing, but I was pursuing the cross. 누가 봤을 때는 멍청하다 그런 걸왜 하고 있냐 가망이 없다라고 얘기했는데 그게 되더라니까요. Any normal person would say that what you're doing is foolishness. It's not going to work. Doesn't even make any sense. But it worked. But it worked. 그리고 12절에 보시면 하나님의 지혜에 있어서는 이 세상이 자기의 지혜로 하나님을 알지 못함으로 그러니까 자기의 지혜로는 이해 못하는 거예요. 하나님께서는요 누굴 사용하시냐면 전도에 미련한 것으로 믿는 자들을 구원하시기를 기뻐하셨도다. 아멘. For since in the wisdom of God the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message. It, through the foolishness of the message, preached to save those who believe. It was through the foolishness of the message that God saved. 여러분, 제가 선교를 한 지가 뭐 이제 꽤 지났죠. 근데 가장 두려운 시간이 이렇게 간증을 할때 가장 두려워요. You know, I've been a missionary for a very long time, but uh, when I'm given this opportunity to give my testimony, to share my testimony, that's when I get really afraid. That's when I'm fearful. 그래서 저는 간증하는 게 너무 두렵고 싫어요. I, so I don't like really sharing my testimonies. I don't like giving my testimonies because I am afraid. 이분이 안 계셨으면 저는 아마 여러분들 간증 안 했을 거예요. If it wasn't for this guy standing next to me, I probably would not have given testimony. 계속 하라 그래 가지고 억지로 하고 있어요. He just kept telling me and goading me to do it and so I'm doing it. 이게 벌써 10년 전 이야기예요. This is something that happened more than 10 years ago. 그리고 그 10년 전 있었던 그 감정을 제가 또 끄집어내야 되잖아요. And so I'm trying to remind my to remember and to remind myself as to what happened 10 years ago and I I'm bringing that up now. All that emotion. 지금의 저와 그때의 저는 너무나 다른 사람인 걸볼때 저는 그게 너무 너무 힘들어요. And as I reflect on my past, I realize that person from 10 years ago and and me were just totally different people and that's what makes it so hard for me. 그때 저는 정말로 무모하고 정말로 멍청했어요. 지금은요. 아, 얼마나 똑똑한지 몰라요. 
I was so stupid and foolish, yet full of zeal for God, and now I am so wise and lazy for God. So, what kind of a condition am I in now? 저는 정말로 제가 똑똑한 척, 지혜로운 척, 성경도 더 많이 읽고 그때보다 훨씬 많이 읽었고 그때보다 더 많은 경험이 있는데 이놈이 그때 저 멍청하고 땅바닥에 굴러다니던 그 사람보다 못한 거예요, 영적으로. You know, I have gained so much more experience and so, I've read Bible so many more times and I actually studied theology. I'm full of knowledge. I, I, I know so much more and yet when I reflect on what I did and that foolish person who didn't know anything, who only had zeal for God, was spiritually far superior to where I am now in my relationship to God. Back then I didn't know anything. I just would just reach out to anybody and say, please come to church and, and share that that little message that the person may or may not even understand. But now, I'm so wise and I look around and I say, no, no, he's not going to listen. No, no, that guy doesn't want to talk to me. I pick and choose based on my wisdom. 그전에는요, 제가 워낙 아무것도 아니어서 그냥 완전 난민처럼 다녔잖아요. 그래서 누가 아예 싫어 그러면 괜찮았어요. 근데 저는요, 이제 신학도 졸업하고요, 정장 입고 다니고요, 알 만큼 알고요. 그래서 거절당하는 게 너무 무서워요. See, back then you see me, you know, you saw me. I'm like a homeless person, you know. I don't have like any fancy, you know, clothes or anything. And if, if I get rejected, you know, I don't even care. I don't even know. But now I went to seminary. I wear nice clothes. I am deathly afraid of rejection. <coughs> it's sad, right? It's sad. 하나님의 돈은 전도의 미련함에 있는데 저는 거기에 밖에 나온 거예요. See, God's way, the, the way of the cross, is in the foolishness. But I have come out and I become wise, wise, according to the world. This is what happened eventually. See, now it's filled. It's it was empty, but look. 근데 이게 그 정도에 멈추는 게 아니에요. 사람들이 와가지고 이제 앉지 앉지를 못해요. 그러니까 there was not even enough space for people to sit down. 왜냐하면 이제 늘면은 예배 듣고 와서 또 보내고 또 보내고 하니까는 이제 뭐 교회가 멈춰서 이제 밖에서 예배 드려요. Now the people have spilled over to outside. 그러니까 앞에도 이제 교회 마당도 붙였어요. 이제 그래서 안 되는 거 없어요. Now the, the the front yard of the church. Is also filled. There's no place for them to sit down, even in the yard. It was so fun. You know, we had to rip out the doors. It was it wasn't useful. We had to literally rip out the church door. See? There, you see the, 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 the little uh, walls in the church? That's outside. So we ripped out the doors and so the people outside can also participate. This wasn't just Sabbath. This is what went on every day. Because I didn't have any friends. I was lonely if I didn't do this every day. 그러니까 저는 그냥 매일마다 4시부터 6시까지 어린이 순서 그리고 7시부터 11시까지는 저녁 예배예요. So from every day from uh, 4 to 6 is a children's program and and from 7 to uh, 11 did you say? Yeah. Wow. 7 to 11 is an adult program. <웃음> 여러분 제가 저 설교를 잘하거든요. 왜 잘하는 줄 아세요? 배워서 잘하는 게 아니에요. You know, I I talk well, I preach well, uh, have become a good public speaker. It's not because I learned how to speak publicly at school. Because I was doing this every day. Every day you do this and you get better at it. I never, no one taught me Bible. When you begin to preach, when you begin to share the word of God, then you begin to hear things. You begin to learn. Right, Pastor? When you preach, you learn more, right? 
복음이라는 게 그거예요. This is the gospel. This is the gospel. 그냥 했어요. 모르는 게 약이었어요. 낙을 너무 많이 먹었어요. I just did it, you know, like ignorance, not knowing his medicine, and I took way too much medicine. 그래서 그 생명이 다른 사람들 전달이 되는 거예요. And that that life of Jesus began to flow out to other people. 지금 저는요 너무 똑똑해져 가지고 사람들이 그래 너니까 할수 있게 이렇게 보거든요. I become too wise for myself now. I become too knowledgeable for my own good now. 사람들이 저를 보고서 너니까 그렇게 할수 있겠지 생각한다고요. And uh, you know people look at me and and say, well, you know, you are able to do that because 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 you are special. You have you have it in your genes or something. That's what people would say. 근데 그때는요. 누가 봐도 홈레스잖아요. 그렇죠? But but you saw me. You saw me like you would have thought I was homeless and I was essentially. 근데 제가 그렇게 기뻐 날뛰고 돌아다니니까 사람들이 궁금한 거예요. But I was so happy. I was so filled with with joy and people people are curious. Why is why is this guy so happy? 왜 그렇죠? 정신 나간 한국인이 머리도 길고 맨날 설사만 하는 놈이 와 가지고는 저렇게 기뻐 돌아다니는가? 그게 궁금한 거야. 그 기쁨을 느끼고 싶은 거라고. 그게 복음이에요. They were so curious because this this homeless looking guy with long hair and he's constantly having diarrhea and he's skinny and but he's so happy. He's jumping up and down all day. Like what makes him so happy? Like I want I want that some of that joy rubbed on me, you know? 그러니까 그 전에는 마을 사람들이 너 어디 가냐라고 하면은 뭐 집에 가냐 그러는데 다 이제 끝나면 일 끝나면 아시죠? 반일. 그 떼양볕에서 인도 진짜 더워요. 그 떼양볕에서 일하다가 끝나면 자연스럽게 교회 오는 거예요. 매일마다. So um, in the old days before before the revival in the church, you know, they you saw how they worked at the at the farm, right? They farm and then they, you know, the typically they would go home and say, "Oh yeah, now it's time to go home." But after we got that going, people would work and say, "Now it's time to go to church." That was every. That wasn't Sabbath. That was every day. Every day they finish their work and they would come to church. 여러분 이사야 6장 8절입니다. 오늘의 결론이에요. 내가 또 주의 목소리를 들으니 주께서 이르시되 내가 누구를 보내며 누가 우리를 위하여 갈고 하시니 그때 내가 이르되 내가 여기 있나이다 나를 보내소서 하였더니. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, "Here I am. Send me." Amen. 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 준비돼서가 아니에요. It's not because you're ready and prepared. 하나님께서 부르셔서 가는 겁니다. Because He called you. Because of His calling, you go. 제가 여기서 노란색으로 누가 우리를 위하여라고 표시했죠. And I, in the in the yellow highlight, it says, "Whom shall I send?" For us. Oh, for us. 여러분, 하나님께서 우리 어떻게 창조하셨습니까? How did God create us? 우리가 우리의 모양과 우리의 형상대로 사람을 만들고 해요. Let us create man in our own image. In our own image. 그 우리가 뭘 말하고 있습니까? What is that us? 성삼위 일체를 말하고 있죠. It's a uh... The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? The Trinity. 맞습니까? Is that right? 여러분, 그 삼위일체의 하나님이 우리의 삶 속에 언제 어떻게 나타나시냐? 누가 우리를 위하여 갈구할 때 내가 여기 있나이다 나를 보내소서 하는 그 순간 성 삼위일체가 여러분의 삶 속에 나타난다는 것을 기억하시길 바랍니다. So when does this triune God manifest themselves in your life? It's when he is at when they're asking, when he's asking, who will go for us? And when you respond, here am I. Send me. That's when God will manifest in your life. 여러분의 지혜로움이 필요한 게 아니에요. 전도는 어리석은 자에게 주어진 특권입니다. God does not need your wisdom. It is the when with respect to evangelism and mission work and gospel work it is the privilege of the foolish to gain success 그래서 제가 이 설교를 준비하면서 하나님께 기도했어요 
하나님 제가 더 똑똑해지기 전에 제가 이 교회를 위해서 어떠한 일을 할수 있을까요? 라고 기도를 했습니다. 제가 더 많은 걸 알고 뭐이 여기 전기세가 얼마고 뭐 기름이 가스비가 얼마고 뭐 땅값이 얼마고 그런 거다 알기 전에 모를 때 하나님만 의지하고 할수 있는 것이 무엇일까요? 라고 기도를 했어요. So I prayed, you know, before I gain too much knowledge, you know, how, you know, this is the amount of offering going, you know, coming in, these are expenses, the electric bills, the gas bills, you know, that's too much knowledge. Before I gain any of this knowledge, okay, but while ignorance is still bliss, what is it that I can do this for, uh, for this church? 여러분, 저를 위하여 기도해 주시길 바랍니다. I ask for your prayers. 저도 그 10년, 몇 십몇 년 전에 그 불탔던 제가 너무 그리워요. I miss myself from 10 years ago. I really do. 그때 막 뜨거운 그게 너무 그리워요. I miss that passion and, and zeal for God from 10 years ago. 여러분들의 삶에도 뜨거웠던 적 있으시죠? I'm sure that in your life there were moments of that that passion and zeal for God. 그립지 않으십니까? Don't you miss it? 그때 여러분이 여러분의 십자가를 내려놓고 예수 그리스도를 향하여 갈때 그분의 멍에를 메울 때 다시 살아날 것을 믿습니다. When you take up your cross and yoke up with Jesus Christ, that passion will come alive again. 다시 살아나는 저와 여러분들 것을 믿으며 말씀 마치겠습니다. I pray and I believe that we'll come alive again. And with that prayer, I want to finish my sermon. 감사합니다. Thank you. Amen.